Well, folks, welcome to another Friday fishing forecast. And it looks like we're gonna have some wind to contend with on Saturday. Sunday is gonna drop down and be absolutely beautiful. The waves offshore are gonna drop down. The bay is gonna be beautiful. The weather's gonna be really nice on both days. It's gonna be 70 degrees on Saturday, and I think it's gonna be closer to 80 on Sunday. So if you're gonna fish, I would probably say Sunday's gonna be a little bit better than Saturday. But fish when you can, of course. That's the old saying is you gotta go when you gotta go. And uh, if Saturday's the day, then it's not gonna be horrible. Trust me, you can find places to, to get out of, the, out of the wind. And from what I know, the bite has been incredible. The sheep's head bite has been really good. The redfish bite, the snook bite, the trout bite has all been very, very good. Offshore, the bite has been really good. Uh, my friend uh, Ernie, Dirty Ernie, went offshore. I was supposed to go Wednesday, but unfortunately our boat lift um, stopped working, so I couldn't get the boat off. So he took his boat, went offshore, and they caught mangrove snapper to 25 inches. So needless to say, I was a little bit jealous, and it was kind of a godsend because I had so much work to get done. But anyway, the offshore bite has been really good. If you can get out, it, it seems like during the week is the best times. But Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday are going to be really good offshore flat, flat conditions. As you can probably see, the wind's blowing pretty good today. Um, but overall, things are starting to really heat up. We're going to probably start getting into springtime patterns here very, very shortly. So that means these fish are going to be in transition and understanding what to look for, where to look, and um, presenting the bait to them the way they want to be presented is key. Let's go ahead and get into the, uh, the Friday fishing forecast, the tides and salooners for this weekend. On Saturday, we have a low tide at 627 a.m. at a negative 1.0. And we have a high tide at 213 p.m. at a one foot. And then we have a low tide at 443 p.m. at a 0 0.9 foot. And we have a high tide at 1126 p.m. at a 2.3 foot. On Sunday, we have a low tide at 709 a.m. at a negative 0 0.9. And we have a high tide at 2.03 p.m. at a one foot. And then we have a low tide at 5.51 .5, p.m. at a 0 0.7 foot. So as you can see, the morning tides are gonna be good, moving very good, but then the afternoon tides are gonna slack off. So if you wanted to concentrate on catching uh, snapper and sheep's head inside the bay or even target grouper, look for new grouper, those slacker tides are better to fish for those fish inside the bay. So fish inshore, fish for those redfish, snook and trout in the morning and then in the afternoon you can get out and fish for sheep's head, snapper, grouper, things like that. Let's go ahead and talk about the salooners for this weekend. On Saturday we have a major feeding time from 10.21 a.m. to 12.21 p.m. and we have a minor feeding time from 4.12 p.m. to 5.12 p.m. and on Sunday we have a minor feeding time from 6.21 a.m. to 7.21 a.m. And we have a major feeding time from 11.23 a.m. to 1.23 p.m. Then we have another minor feeding time from 5.25 p.m. to 6.25 p.m. So understanding those salooners, especially the salooners early in the morning and late in the afternoon, especially on um, Sunday, those are the peak time. Those are gonna be really peak times because that's when the sun's gonna be coming up and going down. And when you have that happen, you have a barometric pressure change and when that barometric pressure changes that's why you always hear people talk about oh the sunset bite or the sun sunrise bite was unbelievable that's because there's a barometric pressure change in there and it, it actively turns on those fish to eat so always remember that that's why you always hear people talking about a sunrise or sunset bite because that barometric changes when that sun is going down or when that sun is coming up Again, I want to say thank you to everybody for sending in pictures for the top catches. We have some really good ones this week. In the first picture, we have Kenny Dial with a real nice mixed bag of sheep's head and mangrove snapper. Kenny, is, he's surely been on fire with the fish up in the Crystal River area. Next, we have Don Balson with a real nice gag caught in the bay. They landed two and broke off on some more. In this last picture, this is our good friend, Captain Jason Prieto, putting his client on some nice reds. And I have been seeing some really good pictures of redfish, nice trout, and snook being caught. So, like I said, it's that time of year is coming where everything's really going to put on the feed bag, especially after a winter. We didn't have a harsh winter, just a couple weeks that 
you know, a couple days here and there that got cold. But other than that, it was relatively a pretty normal winter for us here in Florida. A lot of things happening. Uh, one is we're getting, we signed on a new retailer and we'll be delivering product to them this weekend. And that's Tarpon Fishing Outfitters up in Tarpon Springs. Uh, put in a huge order, took us a little bit to get it built. It was over 7,200 jigs. I think it was closer to 7,500 jigs. So they will be a new retailer for us with Tampa Bay Fishing Channel's jigs. So if you live up in that area, feel free to stop by and see them. Like I said, we're gonna deliver that this weekend. Thank you to everybody for your patience, for your orders that you would put in this week. We are catching up to them right now. We're building them as we speak. So it, it, we got caught kind of a little bit off guard with that. So thank you for the patience with that. If people are interested in where you can buy our jigs, first you can buy them online at tampabayfishingchannel.com. You can buy them at Reef and Reel. You can buy them at Little Manatee River Bait and Tackle. You can buy them at Palmetto Bait and Tackle, which is a sponsor of ours, and then Tarpon Fishing Outfitters. And then actually Sunray Marine actually has some jigs at their location on Almerton Road also. And you can come by our retail shop here in Ruskin during the week. We're open eight to five. Again, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. We really, really, really appreciate it. Like I keep saying, we've got some big things coming. We've got a hog hunt that we're going to be doing coming up very soon. So we're going to be doing some different things. My wade fishing video, I appreciate everybody watching that debacle, but I will, I am going to go back to, to that and do that again. So we've got some things coming up that are gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna get the boat, we're gonna to have to hand crank this boat off the lift, get it down in the water so we can use it this weekend, get the lift fixed and get back to normal usage on that. Also, I did want to introduce a new member to the Tampa Bay Fishing Channel. He is our dog, Buddy. We rescued him from the Humane Society. We went to the bark in the park last weekend, that's why I didn't fish and He's a, a Australian Shepherd. He is seven years old and we haven't had him on the boat yet because we haven't had the boat in the water, but we're looking forward to that. But that's gonna be our new shop dog and our new little mascot for Tampa Bay Fishing Channel. Hopefully he likes the boat and he likes to go out and fish. He likes to do everything else. He's actually took a swan dive into the lake chasing after ducks. He wanted to herd the ducks. So I had him off the leash first day, second day, yeah, he bolted and was right in the lake behind the house so we've got to watch that but anyway that's our new shop dog buddy and uh he's going to be a great addition already has been very chill dog so that's awesome but again i just want to say thank you so much for watching we really appreciate it fish more catch more and we'll see you on the flip side